cancer research has been ongoing at Notre Dame for decades. The research projects at the Harper Cancer Research Institute are, simply put, just amazing. That's because of our collaborative interactions right here on campus, performing some of the best cancer research in the world, but also because of our interactions with collaborative partners, both nationally and globally. When you put creative and smart people working together, the result is innovation. Here at the Harper Institute, we are working on innovation in three major areas. Better ways to detect cancer earlier, better ways to understand how cancer progresses so that we can generate more accurate model systems, and better ways to treat cancer more effectively with less side effects. It's really hard to pick the best examples of research at the Harper Institute, but one really interesting collaboration is addressing a really important problem, and that's bone metastasis in breast cancer patients. Many women that relapse following a breast cancer diagnosis relapse with bone metastasis, and this can lead to very painful and life-threatening complications. It's really hard to study bone metastasis because it's simply in the bone, and it's hard to see in the bone, it's hard to understand what's going on in there. We have a team of researchers led by Lori Littlepage in chemistry and biochemistry, and Glenn Niebuhr in bioengineering who are addressing the problem of bone metastasis. Putting Lori and Glenn together Together as a collaborative team has been really powerful. They bring their novel insight from their disciplines. Lori's a breast cancer researcher, Glenn works on bone biomechanics, and putting this expertise together has allowed them to generate really novel experimental models where they can keep bone alive in the laboratory for a very long time. The impact of this is that it allows Lori's team to then come in and understand how those tumor cells are growing in the bone and more importantly, figure out how to stop them from growing. Innovations in immunotherapy have been really life-changing for cancer patients over the last decade. And some of that amazing work has come from the lab of Dr. Brian Baker in the chemistry and biochemistry department who is working on how the immune cells in our body can better recognize their cancer targets. A major advantage of having engineers affiliated with the Harper Cancer Research Institute is that they can help us to generate much more realistic and appropriate model systems for our research. That means that the discoveries that we make and the drugs that we test in those models are much more likely to be effective. One great example of this is the work in Pinar Zorlatuna's lab, who's creating engineered microenvironments that mimic young versus aged tissue so we can better understand how cancer cells interact in the context of aging. Basic research in cancer is also very important. For example, research in Kate White's lab uses advanced microscopy and imaging technologies to gain fundamental insight into how cancer cells work. The survival of cancer patients is dramatically increased with early detection. That's why the research in Tom O'Sullivan's lab is so important because he's developing handheld devices using optical technologies to detect cancer early. So the big question is where are we headed in the next 10 years? We still have a lot of work to do. We want to keep expanding our collaborative teams to keep that innovative research driving forward. We want to keep developing our key facilities such as the Center for Investigational Medicine to bring that basic research into the hands of cancer patients and their families. We're developing innovative educational programs that starts at the level of postdocs and graduate students involving Notre Dame undergraduate students and ideally working with high school students in our community to give everyone a chance to contribute to basic cancer research. A major focus of our efforts going forward is inclusive cancer research because we realize that the ability to survive a cancer diagnosis should not depend on your race or your ethnicity or your socioeconomic status. So we want to put a lot of effort into tackling cancer health disparities, both here in our local community, but also worldwide. We're ready for the next 10 years of innovative, collaborative, and inclusive research, and Notre Dame is the perfect place to do it. Lastly, I want you to remember that research cures cancer.